Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, and we're here with Hazel. Hey, girl. And we're giving you a brief update here on the puppies and how they're doing. I know it's been a while, but it's been busy on the farm with lambing and all that sort of thing. So we haven't really taken opportunity to give you a good update of what's happening here. But uh, as you can see, they grow very quickly. Thankfully, they've all survived to this point and they're all doing very well. And uh, we're thrilled to be able to share with you again how they're doing. As you can see, they're gotten a lot more active. We've just started them on some solid food. So we'll show you that in a minute as we feed them. They've really learned to dig into that and uh, seem to really enjoy getting some solid food. Right now they're basically like little sharks. When mom comes in here, they don't even give her a chance to lay down. <laughs> uh, I think she's getting a bit tired of them in a certain sense. She hates uh, being swarmed by them, but. She's like, I'm out of here. So anyway, we'll kind of do a quick intro for each one. As you can see, there's a, you're starting to see def different variations here um, in color and also in uh, different types of coats. Some of them are definitely more curly poodle-like and some of them are much more smooth and uh, they've gotten to be a lot of fun here. I think six of them are now spoken for. So we still have five available. So if you are looking to add a little puppy to your family at home there, then you better let us know. We do have a contact email in our, on our YouTube channel uh, about page. So if that's something you are interested in, let us know. and. We can hook you up. We just put new bedding in here, so I'm not sure why Hazel is so interested here. But she keeps coming in and just standing there, so the puppies are trying to take advantage of that. Hey, you just want some attention too, huh? Uh huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this one here is the one with the yellow collar, and it's a female, and this one is already spoken for. Um, but as you can see, it's definitely got a bit more of the darker color, and it's probably like medium curly, if I could say that. Um, so it's more wavy, so not super poodle-like and not super retriever-like. So, and this one here, light pink is the collar it's not spoken for yet it's a lighter color and definitely takes a little more after the retriever side of things super cute and adorable and yeah this one is available still this one here is very much takes after the poodle very curly haired here and it's the red collar. This one is spoken for. This one here is the brown collar. And it is spoken for, but it's definitely um, hard to say exactly, but I think it's a little bit more retriever coat color and uh, fur type. And this is purple, purple collar. This one has not been spoken for yet. This is a female. And it's kind of right in between a poodle and retriever. It's a pretty smooth coat, not super curly. And here we have green collar. This one's been nicknamed Emmer around here. It's kind of just one of the kids' favorites for some reason. It's got a unique white patch on the forehead here. This one's a male, and I don't think this one is spoken for yet, so this one's still available. This is the black collar puppy. This is a very light colored, and also very poodle-like. <laughs> this one's a little bit afraid of heights still, I think, or something, but, but 
<laughs> he, uh, he's a active guy, and uh, he is not spoken for at this point. It's a male. And this is the dark blue collar. So this one is spoken for. And he is, yeah, kind of right in between the two. Pretty wavy hair. And uh, then there's this one here, which is light blue. He has been spoken for already. He's also quite curly haired and lighter colored. And this one is the white collared one. It is available. It's got the darker face. Is it a male? And this is a female. And it is probably taking after, well, I don't know, it's right in between, I think. Not super curly and not super straight. And here's another one that's very curly and poodle-like. It's the dark pink. This one has been spoken for. So it's very interesting to see how many of these puppies, yeah, they take after kind of the poodle or they take after the retriever somewhat. But they're all super cute. And I can see why people have such a hard time choosing which one. So here we are. We're going to uh, feed them, as you can see. They really dig into this stuff. It's basically ground up puppy food mixed with a little bit of water. Yeah, water and water and, and evaporated milk. So they are little piggies. They seem to love it. And they kind of get right into the middle of it. We're going to have to buy some uh, proper bowls for them and they're coming today we've just ordered them so that they don't make such a mess of themselves Back up here. Let's share with each other here. Okay, you back up. There's some right on the edge here. There you go. It's amazing how quickly they learn this. You definitely know their noses are working. So at this point, we've been using uh, this puppy chow right here. It's called Loyal uh, Strong Start. Um, it's just a puppy chow that we get. Um, it's a chicken and rice formula with peas. Um, it doesn't have the corn, wheat, or soy in it. It's about $60 a bag, and uh, we've just been buying it at our local home hardware store. It's uh, actually the only puppy food they had but it's uh, definitely, I think, a good one. Um, so that's, what, that's the one we've been using. Um, and we've found so far it works well. Uh, we've also been feeding our um, Hazel that, the mother, uh, so that she has, she's getting enough protein and energy and all that she needs as she nurses all these puppies. So that's the one we're using and uh, seems to be working well. Okay, so they're all fed. And now they're just running around. A bunch of them are definitely doing their thing. So maybe we're gonna have to start potty training them. As soon as they get fed, we'll have to put them outside or something. That's just no small thing when you've got 11 of these. And uh, of course, as they get bigger, that's going to be a, a bit of a job, but we'll see how that goes. Hello, you. 
<laughs> Did you see him go running? Anyways, guys, we've come to the end of our video here. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing them. I know there's a bunch of puppy lovers out there who just love them to bits. Um, if there's anything you want to know further about it, leave it, leave it in the comments below and we'll try to answer them. But thanks so much for watching and we'll try to keep you updated going forward. Thanks, see ya.